on guys welcome back to the youtube channel name is juan uh today i'm gonna be having sort of a updated setup tour uh, i've done a video of these in the past the main reason for this video is i've been getting a lot of questions in regards to like my keyboards mouse just kind of like everything that i use so to make it a little easier on you guys i thought i'd make a video pretty much detailing all the gear that i use uh, which is mainly for like content creation, gaming, and just kind of like general use. Uh, so if you guys do have any questions, you guys can refer to this video. And of course, you can ask me directly in the comment box below. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into the video. Uh, if you guys do enjoy this video, find it informative or like helpful in any way, uh, drop a like, subscribe uh, just for future videos as well. Uh, it is appreciated. I do appreciate the support. Uh, but yeah, let's hop into it. Let's go. All, All right, right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a little bit of a PF POV uh, view here. Uh, we're going to start off with the Blue Yeti mic. This is the mic that I use on a daily basis. Uh, this is what I used to record all my sound. Uh, I play a little, little bit of guitar, so whenever I record that as well, I use this bad boy. It's about $100 on Amazon. Um, you can find it in the link down below. Everything is going to be in the link down below, so anything, any questions, down, refer to the down there, okay? We're going to go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about this. This is the Xbox One X. This is the Gears of War 5 edition. I love this thing. It's freaking beautiful. Mwah. Uh, what's holding it though? This is a hide and mount, uh, mount. So you basically just drill a few holes in the back of the, of the on the wall, and then you mount the little metal thing right here. And then the Xbox just kind of slides off. I'm not gonna take it off because it's like plugged in and stuff, but it just slides in and out. It's super clean, super simple. It looks beautiful, and it just pretty much hides away, so you can't really see it. Boom, perfect. Of course, back here I have um, some LED lights. I've had these for a really long time. And I used to have them on my old monitor, but when I took them off, the plastic or the little, the sticky film on it pretty much kind of like dried out. So I can't really place this here without it falling. So I kind of just hang it here on my um, on my monitor arms, and they just chill there. It's fine. It does the job just perfectly. But on this one, I do I bought a new set which I do have on uh, Amazon, uh, so you can check it down in the link below. And uh, well, you can really put just any cheap LED lights. These were 10 bucks. I'm like, you know, it's $10. It does the job just fine. Uh, it has a few color options as well. And then it has a little controller that basically, it syncs up to both. I guess it works up with both. And then you just change the colors with the little controller. Uh, it looks pretty clean. I, I really like it. Favorite colors are blue, white, which is kind of not really white. And then the purple, I really like the purple as well. Um, it's not changing, there you go, boom. Nice, looks clean, we'll keep it on white. Uh, the monitor arms, so for this one, I actually got uh, the one with three, just in case in the near future, which probably will be soon. Uh, I wanna get three um, monitors. So right now I have the middle one set up and the one on the left side. And then the one on the right, it's just kind of like chilling over here. I haven't used it yet, because obviously I don't have a big enough desk and then i don't have a third monitor either so with that we have the elgato capture card here it's kind of just chilling here i don't really have a good place to put it but this just you know does the work does it just fine uh sorry for the cable management is absolutely horrible but it's kind of hidden so it's not that bad uh i got my um elgato it's pretty much uh going straight into the xbox or the nintendo switch down here and then it just connects to your pc and then you can, you know, stream and just record your gameplay and stuff. It's pretty clutch. Awesome. I love Elgato. I love you so goddamn much. Uh, we here have a little Logitech camera. This is a 1080p camera. Uh, it's nothing fancy. Had it for a really long time, but it does the job just perfectly. So clutch. Good stuff. Logitech. Love it. One thing I do want to point out, of course, um, is this gaming chair. This is uh, the RTX 125 uh, pimp a meter uh, of course every gamer needs a broken beat up chair with buttons missing this is what i'm rocking it does the job nothing fancy so yeah i have that okay so i pretty much showed you guys everything that's on the back of the monitors that's important for me to mention uh but i'll mention like some stuff here some peripherals and whatnot uh here we have the uh it's a seasonic um it's a four terabyte hard drive uh, I bought the the hard drive maybe like four, three or four years ago. Uh, this one goes straight into my Xbox and then it holds all my games for Xbox. Uh, I have a link down below for one of these, but the thing is they, they make them like a lot smaller now. They don't make them as big. Uh, of course, technology kind of advances. So it does, yours doesn't have to be this big. It could be like tiny, kind of like this one. 
but uh, with the same amount of memory, which is pretty clutch because four terabytes, this is huge. This is massive. And then nowadays it's like that big, which is pretty crazy. Okay, the next one, uh, you have your standard switch. This is the OG switch. Got mine in 2017 when it came out. Um, but here you, you might notice you got, you got it on something a little different. Uh, this is a PDP dock. It's a light up display. Uh, I got the Mario one, but these plates are actually custom made. I'm going to go ahead and tag this person's Instagram. So this is the Instagram right here. Can you see it? Oh my gosh. Can you see it? Ah, uh, I'm going to have his link down below. Oh, you can see it right there. Perfect. Okay. So it's CO2PR. Uh, he sent these out to me and they're pretty cool. Uh, he makes a, he has a, like a bunch of different designs and they're so clean. Uh, this one's a Smash Brothers design. Why can I like put this in here? I'm like, there you go. Boom. This one's a Smash Brothers design. I really love this one. Uh, of course, it's custom made. I'll have his Instagram link down below. Uh, that way, if you guys are interested, you guys can contact him directly. Uh, but super cool, very clean work. I love it. Uh, yeah, PDP dock and then the light up display. I think it's a must have. It really adds to the setup here. And then here, it's just, uh, I got a little N64 cartridge. Uh, I got this when I was in Japan and I kind of kept it in its like original film just to like protect it. But everything's in Japanese. It's pretty cool. Uh, I really love this. It has all the pricings and stuff like that. 1400 yen. Uh, that's about $14, super cheap, I guess. I don't really know how much retro games go for in the, East, in the United States, but that's cool. I like it. It's like my price possession. And then here we have a DC statue. This is Batman. Um, it's got like a little, what's it called? Like signing over here. So it's 1,000 out of, uh, or is it 1,012 out of 5,000? Uh, pretty cool. It was like about 70 bucks or something. Uh, I'll have it in the link down below. I forget who the artist is that um, designed the statue or drew the character or whatever. But yeah, I really liked it. I picked it up. It really adds to the setup. I love DC. I love Batman. He's like one of my favorite superheroes. So I have that as well. And then here, um, this is a random keyboard from Amazon. It's a little dusty and dirty. Excuse me. Sorry. But it's, it's pretty clean. It does the job. Uh, I have the red switches on it, which uh, unfortunately, I kind of like the blue switches a lot better now that I'm a little bit more, um, what's it called? More seasoned when it comes to like PC gaming. Because when I first got this, I didn't really know anything about PC gaming. So yeah, you can't really switch out the switches. So whatever you buy, it's just there. So I will warn you on that. I had no idea. And then, um, yeah, we got the red switches. But yeah, there, that's the keyboard. It has like a bunch of functionalities. You can change the colors and stuff like that. You can change the settings like this. Boom, 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 boom. Pretty cool, pretty awesome. And then you can change all of these as well. I have a video on this keyboard. If you guys want to check it out, put it in a little box thing over here. Uh, this is a glorious Model O mouse. This is like the lightest like mouse in all of gaming, something like that. That's what I saw on their website. Uh, but this thing's clutch. It really does like, it's super light. Uh, it's clean. I love this mouse. It has six buttons. Uh, maybe I should make a little video on this, but uh, I, would I recommend it? Yes, definitely. I used to use a Logitech, but now this is like my go-to. I love this thing. It's clean, it's beautiful. Mwah. Okay, moving on. Uh, this is my PC. Um, this is my baby, of course. I love my baby. Um, I do have all the specs written down over here. That way I can give you guys a detailed reading of all the specs within the PC. Uh, this is a pre-built computer. I'll mention that like straight off the bat, uh, but I did add all the RGB to it, which yes, I am pretty proud of it. Awesome. Here are some of the specs. You got the case. It's the uh, NZXT H500 in white. Uh, the CPU, it's the NZXT uh, Kraken M22. Uh, motherboard is the ASRock Z390 Pro 4. Boom, there you go. Okay, did I memorize that? No. <laughs> uh, for the graphics card, uh, the GPU, we have the NVIDIA GeForce. Uh, this is the RTX uh, 2060. Uh, it's a Zotec Amp, which is right there. Zotec, you can't really see it. Zotec Amp. Uh, for the CPU, we're rocking an Intel uh, i5-9400. Uh, this is a 6-core 2.9 gigahertz. Damn, what a mouthful. Uh, <laughs> the power supply, which uh, I do actually want to um, upgrade in the near future, like very soon. Uh, this is the Seasonic. This is the M12-2 Bronze. Um, the RAM, the RGB, it's uh, the T-Force Delta. Uh, it's two sticks of eight gigabytes. So 16 gigabytes all total. 
Um, and then we have the uh, SS drive, which is only 250 gigabytes. I definitely want to upgrade that soon. Uh, hopefully to 500 or one terabyte, one terabyte is preferred, of course. And then I have an uh, ex uh, external hard drive as well. This is a terabyte of memory and that's where I store all my games. So all my programs go in my SSD and then all my games go in my hard drive. Uh, the only game I have on my SSD just cause I want it to run quicker is Fortnite and Apex. So those are my two games that are on my SSD. And then you have a little Amiibo here. This is Zelda from Breath of the Wild. She's just there rocking, chilling, protecting my PC. Uh, but that's it for the PC. We have the Logitech G Pro X. This is a gaming headset. Uh, this is the headset I use pretty much on a daily basis. I absolutely love this thing. It's been pretty clutch. Uh, ever since I got it. Honestly, hands down, one of the best headsets I've used. Uh, it comes with software. You can change the sound settings within the software. It comes with a bunch of dis different accessories within the box. Uh, but yeah, the, Lo the Logitech G Pro X gaming headset, super clutch, super clean. Uh, I love the aesthetic as well. It's very clean, not too crazy, which is exactly what I was going for as well. So right here on my wall, I have all my Xbox controllers kind of like lined up. Uh, they're on the hide it mount controller um, little stands things. So you just you just screw it to the wall and then you put the controller right on it. Super clean, super simple to install. It took me like five minutes to put them all there, uh, but I like that. I think it looks great. Uh, next, just some like little things I have here. Uh, I bought this while in Japan. Uh, this is a limited ami. Uh, this is an exclusive amiibo to Japan only. This is from Monster Hunter. Uh, this little Japanese action figure. Uh, Las Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, what else we have here? Just some Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards and stuff. Some photos I took while in Japan or that my friend Jacob took. Uh, we have the Zelda Special Edition here. And then we have um, some more comic book stuff. This is from Greg Capullo and uh, Scott Snyder. Clean. Love it. Uh, some cologne. Uh, some Switch, a Switch controller and a Xbox controller. Apple TV. Boom. Everything... Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. All right, guys, that's pretty much going to be it for the setup video here. If you guys did enjoy that video, drop a like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell as well. If you guys have any questions in regards to any of the gear that I went over here today, uh, put them down in the comment box down below. I'm always happy to answer any and every single question you guys may have. So personally, I think a setup is always like a work in progress. It's taken me like three to four years to pretty much have like the setup of my dreams. Like this setup right now is like the setup of my dreams. I love it uh but of course we always want to add to it etc uh but as far as like it is now i'm happy with it uh hopefully you guys enjoyed it maybe kind of drew a little bit of an inspiration for your own personal setup uh, but with that being said guys i'm gonna leave you guys at that hopefully you guys enjoyed uh but i will be posting one to two times every single week this year that's my goal um so if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe stay tuned uh, and i'll catch you guys on the next one okay peace